Hello there everybody, Sublime Knight 2 AK Nightmare, and welcome back to Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. I apologize for the shortness of the last episode. To be fair, I was going at it for like three hours trying to get Mirror B well okay, maybe okay, an hour to get Mirror B to You know what, the total recording time was like three hours, so <laughs> However, um off screen, I managed to get all of the shadow Pokemon, thankfully. And on top of that, I got them all purified during the time that I was grinding. So, I'm at the final area. Allow me to share with you the current team setup that I've got right now. We have level 42 Tokuri with leftovers. Relatively good stats with the moveset of Thunder Punch, Light Screen, Thunder Wave, and Heal Bell. I feel like Heal Bell may really, it may come in handy, honestly. I brought back the starter, Umbra, because this is the final stretch of the game. It would not be right if I didn't take my starter with me, you know what I mean? Very good defense stats overall with Umbra with Bite, Quick Attack, Confuse Ray, and Faint Attack. And I've also given it the EXP share because, you know, may as well give it more power. Level 47, Ardith. I didn't have an item. I, I should probably go look at but I... Fuck it. Move set, Double Edge, Earthquake. I replaced Iron Defense with Earthquake because I felt like it might be more useful. Iron Tail and Protect. However, there is a criteria that I have to meet with Ardith in order for him to wield the power of Earthquake. Which is why some movesets have been adjusted. Example being with Nova. He's level 46 with Faint Attack, Bite, Flamethrower, and Protect. So if Nova and Ardith are working together, if I'm preparing to use Earthquake, I'll just have Nova use Protect. That's the strategy at least. I don't have to do much with Glitch because he's already floating, so that's a thing. But also, I changed his moveset to Psychic, Cosmic Power, Mud Slap, and Shadow Ball. Why didn't I teach Glitch Earthquake? Because I wanted to teach Ardith Earthquake. And also because his attack stat is higher than Glitch, even with, you know, the uh, stab. But, you know, the combination of Levitate, Protect, Earthquake, not a bad combination in my personal opinion. And then we got Malik at level 45 with a Mystic Water. And, by the way, uh, thank you guys for kind of pointing this out. I went to Mount Battle and cleared... Um, I think it was the first three areas that I, that I think I did. Yeah, I cleared the first three areas. I got a couple of TMs, and one of those was Water Pulse. So now Malik has a much better water move overall. Also, yeah, everybody corrected me. Um, Hail in this generation did not give Blizzard a 100% accuracy. That's okay. Uh, thanks for clarifying. But anyway, this is our team layout for the final stretch. Um, if there's a PC box up here, I might use it because um, I think it's pretty obvious that we have something we're gonna use our Master Ball on and I really wanna try it out, so I'm gonna get through these grunts, or actually, these look like the admins now that I think about it. So I'm gonna get rid of them first and then we'll work on that. Hey man, how's it been? It's been a while, boy. Do you remember me? Oh yeah, you help. Yeah, you help me and my sister, you know, against that Zook punk. Do you recall this? I helped you in Gation Port. I, I, I know that's that, that that's literally what I just um uh are you okay, dude? I apologize. I'm a little bit wrong in the head. There's no need for thanks. I was merely punishing a fool that used a shadow Pokemon in public. You're supposed to do that in the alleyways. At that time, we didn't want the world to know what we, Cypher, were planning. Back then, I thought you were just an ordinary child. Little did I suspect that you would become Cypher's biggest and most damaging threat. That's enough talk. You have the skills and wherewithal to reach Citadark Isle. Let me see your abilities in full glory. Let's go, Ardos. You wanna send out your Alakazam first, or? Well, I was not correct. Alakazam and Swell. Tokuri and Umbra already have got my single bit of the type advantage. Shadow Swell. Okay, I can mess with that. But first things first, I'm setting up a light screen for safety's sake. 
I already know that Alakazam is probably going to outspeed Umbra, so... Confuse Ray. Shadow Sky. Um, I guess I have a smart idea of setting that up first. Yep. the bat. I think, yeah. So good thing. That's why I gave Tokuri the uh, leftovers, because I feel like it might be very useful. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is paralyze that Swellow, because seriously, these shadow Pokemon are the more dangerous threats at the moment. Now that I've got my defense... Oh. Oh. Ugh. the Ultra Ball now. And... Use Lemonade. Umbra. Okay. One. Two. Three. Okay, the shadow half user is gone. Oh, okay, he probably has another one. Kingdra. You're still confused, so... So next turn, I'm going to heal Tokuri, but use Quick Attack on Alakazam to get it out of the fight. Alright. As long as I keep Light Screen up, I should be... ...usefully alive? Okay, Quick Attack, go! <sighs> okay. The Glass Cannon is out. Good. Level up as well, that's useful, that's good. Okay. Oh no! He's super effective against me. He's three of my Pokemon that I've got. No, four if you count good because he's psychic. Unless that thing has a Mega Horn. That thing probably has a Mega Horn. Alright, so. Okuri, it's going to be up to you to set up Light. No, not, not Light Screen. Uh, Thunder Wave on Heracross. Let's see. Yeah, of course it's got brick break. Static? Nope. Damn it. Screw it. 
Thunder Wave, set up. Okay. Good, the shadowy aura fading away. Alright. So. Thunder Wave on Kingdra as well. Cosmic Power. Will it survive? Probably won't. It did! Good job, Glitch! Good. Although I imagine that hair hair. Okay. Thank the Lord. Alright. Reset up light screen. Heal glitch. I realize I'm doing a very defensive playstyle here. Okay. Mega Horn. Damn it! Okay, fuck you. Nova, come forth! We're getting rid of that hair across. Miss. Or, you know, maybe not. Regardless, I got light screen set up. Nova will survive that. Okay. Thunder Punch on Kingdra. Flamethrower on Heracross. Burn that bug! Good. Good Umbra leveled up. Electrified. Weird because I've already got a uh, Alakid, but sure, I'll take it. <sighs> okay. Double edge. Thank you for knocking yourself out there, buddy. Highly appreciated. Snorlax. Snorlax. Ah, Shadow Snorlax. Alright, now we're in trouble. We got two Shadow Pokemon right now. Okay. Underwave. Moo Moo Milk. Shadow Mist to lower evasiveness. That's okay, we can handle that. Shadow End! Some things that I expect, I expect some things that I don't expect. Holy sh Oh, of course the bastard's got left over. Which I can steal if need be. Hmm. 
Is he gonna use Shadow End against? Ogre? Yep. Oh! God bless you for surviving that, Tokuri. Arceus bless you, I guess. Oh. I can't let that damn thing knock itself out. Which, I have a feeling that's what it's going to do. Making it that much harder for me to catch it. What's left of that Electabuzz? Is that really all you're going to use? Are you sure that's a smart idea? Yes, sir. Hey, that's what you want. Okay, I guess that's what you do. Alright, light screen is now down. Okri, I'm gonna have you go ahead and set up a new light screen. Because this, even if that thing is all that's left, I'm not taking any ch chances right now. Yep, that's the reason why. My Pokemon have 69 HP. There's a joke somewhere there, but I can't find it. Alright, go! One, two, three. Gotcha! Win. This is trouble. If something's not done, doesn't matter. I stole your mons. I realize now that I should have crushed you much earlier. This is out of my hands now. I must defer you to Master Grievel himself. But boy, don't think this is over. I won't abandon my dreams. As I carefully walk away while only having hold of half of my Pokemon because you stole them, you mess bastard. Doesn't matter. I stole your shit. Okay, um. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to immediately go back the normal way. Because I don't I'm not taking any risks by going down that elevator. So, I'm gonna make my way back over here do a full heal, and then I am going to take that Snorlax's leftovers and give that to Arden. I feel like he might be able to use that much more effectively than, um... Okay, let's see. The hell does that move? Oh, immunity prevents poison. That's... Huh. I thought Snorlax had thick fat, but okay. Shadow End. A shadowy ram attack that also rebounds on the user. It's only got 60 accuracy, though. And it was still able to hit me both times they use it. So it's basically like double edge, except the recoil is much heavier. Okay. Did this thing only know Shadow Mist? And, oh, what? Shadow Break, Shadow Mist, Shadow Half, and Shadow Storm. Well, I knew it had Shadow Half, but. He just wanted to keep using Shadow. Oh, that was the strategy. Using Shadow Mist so that Shadow End would hit every time. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes much more sense. Okay, got it. All right then, thank you. Now on the positive though, I got myself two leftovers. Here you go, Ardith. Now then, let's continue our journey in tearing apart this whole organization, shall we? Now, I imagine the final battle is going to go through that door, so instead, I'm going to go over here to see where this elevator takes me first. The elevator door won't open. Oh, god damn it. 
Ein. Well. Yeah, I got a good team set up to. Uh, let's do it. Oh, hey! There was a healing thing this here the whole. healing thing here this whole time. Um, somebody just go ahead and take like a little bit of a dunce cap uh, and put it on top of my head. There we go. I'm the sorcerer of dunces now. I'm that dumb. Yep, there they are. You can see the little bottom parts of their sprites. Fuck it, I don't want to risk losing. So... Now this is quite a surprise. You managed to defeat Ardos. Is there a Pokemon battle going on back there in the background? I just saw a camera up to attack a Gardevoir. What the hell's going on back there? Now a Zatu using a shadow move on a camera? What's going on back there? Of course, you've also defeated so many of my followers. Perhaps it's no surprise that you won. I must say that I haven't been this excited in a long time. I do have an appreciation for the strong, you see. However, I also cannot allow you your interference. My Shadow Pokemon plan is nearing completion. Ugh. So, for the time being, I think I will have you securely out of the way right where you are now. What? Hey. What the hell? It's a gigantic wall of glass. It's near- it appears impossible to go any further. I can send a Pokemon- I can send Nova out to fucking tear that gl no. I can send out Nova to soften it with some flamethrower, and then have Ardith double-edge the fuck out of it and break it! Ugh. Fine, I'll go over here to this elevator. Now maybe I can- Wait, what the hell am I supposed to... Uh... I see a sign sitting over there. So wait, what the hell am I supposed to do? Um... Uh... Door open. This guy. <laughs> well, it's me again, kid. You know it kind of makes me quite happy to see you here since I've seen you so often. But the way you keep beating me, my cred's taking a beating. Hey! See, Master Greal gave me a swan last chance to redeem myself. But this is it. If I use this swan, there's no tomorrow. Here goes! I feel like that's a more fitting one for this Gorgon man. No! No! Get rid of that Slow King now! Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck that. No, 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 no. You are not doing anything. Get out of. I'm not attacking you. Get this slow king out of my sight! Oh, I am not letting you do your shenanigans. You are unworthy of wielding an Aggron! You are completely unworthy. There was my goof. Earthquake, brick break. Ah. 
Joke's on you, Umbra's a beast. All right, by now you're, uh, you can't use protect. That's okay. So I'm going to confuse this act on. Then thunder punch it. As somebody that battles regularly with that now. Oh ho 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 ha 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 ha! Oh, yes. All right, now don't be stupid. Attack the Ursa Ring next, but also do the Confuse Ray Trick strategy. You'll put that didn't work. You show them, Tokuri. Oh, now this is pure satisfaction. Wait. Get yourself. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. You're unworthy of wielding that one, not their belt. Wall rain! Mine's better. Just saying, mine is definitely better than yours. Okay, neither of them used protect. That's good. So, knock out that Ursaring. Shadow Polyrath. Got it. A crit. We are wiping the floor with this man. Holy crap. Shadow, Mr. Mon. Okay. Thunder Wave on Polyrath. Confuse Ray on Mr. Mine. Shadow Storm. Ow. Ow. You're a water type, so this works out quite well, because I still have a net ball that I can throw at you. Okay. So, right off the bat, I'll have, um, I think for safety's sake, I'll go ahead and have Tokuri use Thunder Wave on Mr. Mime next. But this time, take the chance to go ahead and heal, um, Umbra. Smack yourself! Thank you. Highly appreciate it. It's always nice whenever they listen to me. It's almost like they wish to be caught. Good. I intend to take it back to that. I'm worried about right now is accidentally knocking them out. So... Light screen. Uh... Quick attack. Okay. 
one of them has Shadow Half, that might actually be useful. Oh, please, keep hitting yourself. <sighs> Thank you for being ultra durable, and I'm proud of you. <sighs> now the problem I'm facing is just because I'm, like, pure type advantage here. I mean, Tokuri can definitely knock out Polyrath with a single Thunder Punch, and I'm guaranteeing that. While Umbra is strong enough to deal a catastrophic amount of damage to Mr. Mine, which is what I'm kind of scared of. So, I'm going to chip away a little bit more at Mr. Mine, and then on the next turn, I'm going to try to capture it. Oh, God! Tokuri's leftovers can counteract the Shadow Sky. That's what's best. Okay, right off the bat. Ultra Ball. Mr. Mine. Next, Moon Milk. Go! Okay. Carefully chip away at Poly Rath's health. You did good, Tokuri. I'm proud of you. Now glitch! Let's shift things up, shall we? Now we're gonna do the chip away strategy this time. Bite to give it a chance of a flinch. Still setting up Shadow Sky. That's okay. And the cool thing is, I don't really have to walk that far to get to another PC and a healing box, so thankfully, with the Shadow Pokemon that I'm going to catch, I can go ahead and put them in the full tempo spots that I've purposefully left in the Purify Chamber. Thus, purifying them a lot faster. Thankfully, I don't have to use an Ultra Ball on Polyrath because I still have a Net Ball. I think I've got like. Well, I've got a couple on me that might be useful. Okay, Light Screen wore off. That's fine. Alright, now here's where I'm gonna do this. I'll have Glitch use another Mud Slap to lower its accuracy more, but this time I'll have Umbra use Quick Attack to deal just a little bit more chip damage than what Bite would do. That should, mathematically, I should be able to get him in the yellow, I think. Or at least in the halfway point. About halfway. Not entirely there yet, but close. All right, now, this turn I'm going to go ahead and have Glitch use another Mud Slap, but I'm going to prepare a Net Ball attack. The thing they use team... Hey, at least the team preparation certainly worked. Okay. Yeah, I have four of these things left. All right, here we go.
You got beaten by a kid. Blah! That was the very last chance Master Grievel gave me. How could I keep losing to some kid over and over? We've only fought twice. Shut up! There were a triad climber to get away from all this. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, just get myself a nice little heal here. And on top of that, we can take care of the purified chamber stuff quite effectively. Now, uh, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so Mr. Mime, level 42, but it's a female. That's always been very confusing to me. Why can't they just have it like, uh, with like Nidoran, where their male and female variants are actually different? Like, where's a Miss Mime? Can we not have a Miss Mime? Oh well. All right, let's see where this was gonna take him. Where does this take me? Hmm. Hi. You won't quit being a pest, will you? Not at all, Sir Colax? My Infrost is better, just saying. Alright, right off the bat, let's just get rid of that completely. Ooh, you're durable. have a similar mindset that I do. That probably won't save you, though. Uh, heard I'll do the same thing. I see what your strategy is. Use light screen to raise your special defense and start lowering my physical attack power. Odd strategy, but it's something, I guess. Uh... Alright, I'll bring in Glitch. Glitch to actually be able to damage. So. Psychic. Light screen may be in effect, but I can still deal some damage. Damn. That's some good damage. That's some bad damage.
Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, he's fine. He's fine. I got plenty of moo-moo milk. It's fine, buddy. Just drink your milk. Joke's on you. I healed him. So therefore, your milk punch wouldn't have knocked him out. So, that's what I have to say to that. I'll get out of here. Alright, what do you got? Dawn fan. Gatto Dawn fan? Nope. Oh. What are the ideas and cons for? Alright, in that case, it is. Oh, no, it's not safe. I was tempted to send out Wall Rain, or Malik, but. Light screen failed? Oh, it was the opponent's light screen that kicked in. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. I misread that, and I honestly thought that my light screen wore off. I am incredibly dumb. That means this is going to do a lot of damage. Not much, but it did something. Okay, now my light screen wore off. I am... Um... <sighs> Can you guys tell that I'm painfully stupid? Hey! Did you use Thunder Punch on me? No, you use Thunder Bolt. Glitch. He's immortal. You're also <laughs> there. We go. All right. Uh, heal bell to get rid of the paralysis. Although, now that I think about it, it probably would have been much more s smart to use Heal Bell, but, uh, whatever. On Glitch whenever he was asleep. Oh, well. Nighty night, Ampharos. Jamie had a bad trainer. Doug Trio. Shadow Doug Trio. Oh, boy. Swap you out for Umbra. Arena trap. Oh, the bastard has arena trap. It'll be a waste of a turn, but screw it. Got him. Yeah, I know. Ampharos really can't do anything right now. Okay, I gotta get rid of that Dawn Fan immediately. Well, that was actually pretty decent. I'm gonna keep convincing people that Mud Slap is not a bad move. Which is fine. It's fine. Uh. Oh. Well, I mean. Stupid idea, but we'll see what happens. It'll break out. 
before it even has like one uh, roll. Let's see. One. Break out. Yeah, I knew it. Well, it was a try. Shadow Break. Ah! Okay, new strategy to employ here. New strategy. I have got to get rid of that damn uh, Dawn Fan. It'll outspeed. I know. I know it's gonna outspeed Malik. to get rid of that Dawn Fan. As long as it... Okay, good. That Mud Slap did kick in. Thank you, Glitch. Okay. Body slam on Dugtrio. Jesus Christ, that does so much damage. Holy crap! Jesus, Malik! I, I, I knew that Dugtrio was kind of frail, but good God! You know what? Honestly, I have been thinking about it. Uh, no. Because I know that I was told that if I want the game to have like a bit of an easy mode, what I could do is leave one slot open and capture the uh, Shadow Lugia, because we know that's what XD001 is. But, you know what? I think it would be much better for me if I actively didn't do that so that way we still have a bit of a challenge whenever we're going in I know it probably makes me sound kind of loony if I do it that way but uh, but I also want to show off the because I really want to test the power of that Pokemon but uh, the problem is trying to figure out what Pokemon that I want to temporarily lose because my team is decent, is pretty solid. I mean, we got Tokri, we got Umbra, Ardith, Nova, Glitch, and Malik. It's a pretty balanced setup overall. Uh, granted, um, if you think about it, uh, over half of my team is weak to fighting types, but let's not talk about that, let's be fair. So, I, I don't know. Well, hey, if I lose to Greville, then I will, you know, 
bring in the big boy. So... Aha! I cheesed my way in, therefore I win! There's an item over there. Eldis! Sir. Who allowed this child to penetrate our defenses so deeply? What is the meaning of this? The others can't be counted on at all. I'm giving the res you the responsibility of dealing with this child. You finally managed to anger Master Grievel. I thought I would end up battling you one day. But this isn't how I had hoped to face you. We battle, it will only be unfulfilling and without meaning. Will you challenge me knowing that? Yeah, you're the bad guy. I'm still gonna beat you. Fine, I understand. But once we begin, expect no mercy. That is my philosophy. Let's go, Eldis. Oddly enough, at least he asked me permission. Ninjas and Maynetric. Right off the bat, getting rid of that Ninjas. Wait. Which one is it? Maynetric's the Shadow Wolf one. Got it. Okay, uh... uh... No! Damn you! Uh, fast. A lightning rod. That's honestly what I was afraid of. It would use freaking speed ups. Fuck you and your ground move! Aha! You missed, bitch! Take care of that as quick as I can. Okay. Mud slap. Confuser. Hit yourself. Thank you. scared of that new gas. I know it sounds weird, but anything that's got speed boost automatically makes it something terrifying. Okay, uh, Ultra Ball. It's weakened. If it does another Shadow End, I won't be able to capture it because it'll knock itself out. Shadow Pokemon too? Yep. Hit 
yourself. Wow, thank you. I actually appreciate that you listened to me. Thank you very much. Now, can you die for me? Good job, Nova. Might have been a little bit overkill, but you know what? I'll take it. And now Umbra's level 46. Continue to gain power, Umbra. You know what? At least you got taste with dragon types. I will always and forever love flying on as a freaking dragon Pokemon. Hmm. Protect. Confuse Ray. That's fine. Umbra can't escape. I can. I can. That's. I, I, I can. No. Jokes on you. Umbra's durable. Okay. Good. Shadow War. Right, faded away. All right. Nova, since you were able to ignore the Shadow Hold, I'm swapping you out with Malik. Um... I use Confuse Ray on Flygon. Hit yourself! Or not. Also the Salamence. So I'm gonna do the body slam strategy. Barret. Probably the safer bet, honestly. Okay, very good, very good. They both hit themselves. That gives me a free turn. Hit? Paralyze? No. I guess that's fine. Um, water Pulse on Flygon. And use the Ultra Ball, because I'm afraid that if I do another Body Slam, it might be a critical hit. So. Let's play it safe. The one bites the dust. Marowak. Shadow Marowak. I appreciate that you just keep hitting yourself. Body slam on Marowak and quick attack on Flygon. What else you got? Lapras. Overall solid water to hey, it's a shadow Pokemon too. present a problem now, though. He's gonna use Shadow End, which 
deals severe recoil damage, making him a lot harder to capture. Okay, so I have to play I have to play this a little safe now. Capture the bulky beast known as Lapras. While he uses Shadow Storm. Stay confused. While I set up defensive measures. So I can't use Tokery because I know that's going to be a one-shot. So I'll swap out for Nova. And just for the hell of it. One, break out. Two, break out. Three, break out. Okay, never mind. You did. Good thing that you were able to admit it. And you had four Shadow Pokemon. Jesus. You are powerful. Much more than I had imagined. You aim to stop our plan, then you should keep going. However, the Grand Master's power is probably far greater than you can imagine. I doubt you will beat the man. Yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, thank you, by the way. 